This video demonstrates how to use the Automatic Reports feature in AutoCAD Electrical. There is some setup involved to use the Automatic Reports feature. The first thing you need to do is set up your format set files. Now I am going to select the report that I want to create the set file for. So I'm going to create it for Schematic Bill of Materials, and I'm going to set it to be the normal tallied format. I am going to select my output. Now when you use automatic reports, you need to have either save report to a file or put on a drawing or both. There's no reason to run the automatic reports if you don't have this type of output because once you run it, there are no dialogues that are displayed on the screen. So I am going to select save report to file and select the file type. Now I'm going to say I also want to put this report on uh, as tables and I'm going to select the update existing option. This is okay even if I don't have any existing tables it will check for those and if it doesn't find those it will insert new tables. I'm also going to select where I want the table inserted. I could enter specific coordinates if I wanted to. I'll add some title lines, select the title color for the text and okay and that's all I need for the drawing. I'm also going to select which fields I want for my report. I can select which ones to display and the order that I want them to be displayed in. Now I have everything selected for my report and I need to save my format file. Now I'm going to create another set file for the same report. The reason I'm going to do this is because I'm going to have different options. If you want to run the same report but it has different options, you do need a separate set file. And I'm going to select display by tag format and I'm going to save this as a file. This time I'll save it as a ASCII text file. It looks like I'm still editing the BOM normal set file that I already saved, so I'm going to do a save as to save this as a separate set file. Finally, I'm going to create a set file for the wire from to report. Select that I want to save that to a file. I'll select Excel spreadsheet again, give it a name, and save this format file as well. So now I've completed the first part of the setup. I've created all the set files that I want. Now I'm going to go into the automatic reports and I'm going to create a report grouping file. This is not required, but if I'm going to run this set of reports over and over, it will save me time if I save it as a report grouping file. So the first thing I need to do is add my set files to the selected reports that I wish to run. I select my report and it shows the set files that I have for that particular report and I add them to the right. The little X's indicate that I have file output and table output. That's what I defined in this set file. I'm going to add my other set file that I created and it also shows that I have table output even though I didn't specifically define it. Since the order I did it in, I created the normal set file first and then I did the by tag, the table was already defined. So if I do not want that table output, I can select that report, and select modify output. It shows that both file and table output are selected, so I'm just going to go ahead and deselect the table output. Now I'm going to select my from to report and add the set file for that. And as you can see, there's no X in the table output column. That's because I did not define the table output for that report. And if I go into the modify output, I cannot select the table output. It's disabled because the definition for it is not in the set file. Now I have my group of reports defined and I want to save this as a report grouping. I could go ahead and run the reports right now, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to go ahead and cancel out. My grouping file is still saved for future. Anytime I want to run this group of reports, I can run it using that grouping file. And now later, today, tomorrow, whenever I want to run these reports, I go into Automatic Reports. I select to open the report grouping. Select my file, and I'm back where I left off with my three reports defined. 
Now if I have table output and I believe that it's going to create new drawings, I could enter the first drawing name if I wanted or let it generate that automatically and I can select what template I want to use for those new drawings. Now I'm ready and I'm going to go ahead and just OK it and it will go ahead and run those three reports, create the output that I selected. For the one report it will create the tables, add them to some new drawings and it will create the Excel spreadsheet and the text file that I selected for those reports.